motivated and inspired you to become an artist? When I was a little girl, I was um, uh, growing up in Southern California. We had just migrated in the 50s from Texas, so with a huge band of people that were coming to look for better work. We spent a lot of time um, going through uh, the fields in uh, cotton in New Mexico picking chili, and finally we landed in Southern California and we could go to school for the first time. So I was in junior high, and uh, it was uh, an instructor who was um, really loved my work, um, and he even stole my drawings. Oh, and uh, I never got him back. And he would always scold me. He says, you gotta go promise me, you gotta promise me that you go to the university, that you go to college. Uh, can you do that? You, can you promise me? And I said, well, I'll try. Um, you know, my mom wants me to be a secretary. <laughs> no, 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 you gotta really think about going to college. I want you to become an artist. Yes. So that really stayed in, in my mind. And for Christmas, I would ask my mom for a set of, uh, you know, paint, paint set, brushes. And my mom says, no, you're getting a new jacket for school or a new backpack. Or we didn't use backpacks then, but you know what I mean, something to carry your lunch in. And so I never got any of the um, art materials I needed. And when I got to high school, I wanted to make major, major in art. And it was really interesting because by then we were all tracked. We were tracked so they would become uh, vocational workers. And um, I was uh, put in typing class to become a secretary. Oh, wow. And um, also um, to um, the, the art class, uh, all the paints and all the drawings were behind glass, locked up. And I asked my instructor, well, I already know how to sell screen. I know how to paint. So when are we going to use the materials? And uh, he would say, no. He says, uh, you don't get to use them. Here's a mimeograph sheet. You have to match the colors on paper. And I said, no, I want to paint. I know how to paint. He says, no, you don't get to paint. You just do the paperwork. So I got a nap in class. <laughs> I would never, you know, be able to go back to, um, to major in, in art. And of course, I became a secretary. <laughs> but it doesn't end there. <laughs> My dream uh, came true uh, when I moved to the Bay Area and uh, I got a scholarship to the San Francisco Art Institute. Oh, so wow. the big old doors <laughs> opened up and I walked through. Right. <laughs> How did you learn to paint? Um, you had said you already knew about silk screening to the teacher. You mentioned. Yeah. And I continued silk screening in, uh, in uh, Berkeley by Malakias so Montoya. You were able to do that? Where did you learn that while you were um, a young person? Well, I never got to sell screen again until I got to the Bay Area, which was in like uh, 68, 1968, right? Uh, the rights movement. So we were sell screening day and night. Thank you. Um, I had a question for you. Um, and challenges did you face once you claimed your art career? In other words, we all struggled to get to exhibit in the galleries and so on, but now that you're exhibiting in the galleries and moving on, what challenges do you have? Um, the idea that I um, want to be in the art world, first mm -hmm. of all, I think. Um, I think I definitely am an artist that is community-based and, and street-based and definitely I'm an audience that's not a traditional audience. So young women of color are my focus. Um, so they're not usually in the galleries of the art world. Um, but I do want to also share in, the, in those audiences, in the, in the white box of the gallery, and, and also as a performer in the black box of the theater. Um, and I've done that mainly community spaces for a long time in university settings, but I feel the obstacle is the idea that I want to be, first of all, in, in those spaces um, and understanding um, the reality of all those spaces, the, the contradictions, the constrictions and restrictions within that. Um, but once being in there, I think more than anything, it's, um, of course, for many and all, right, funding and, and um, um, being able to to mediate um, 
what I want to do within a space. So as a performer or a person who does a lot of things in the street or community, how do I place them within an art world setting or in the gallery? Um, oftentimes it's through documentation work, so some of the photos that are shared are documentation work that is done by other people of my work. Um, so I've been trying to figure out that um, as, a, as a young artist, as an origin artist. Do you find the challenges are difficult? Um, I think because I, from a younger age, been able to find a vision and mission of really what I want to do and why I want to do it, and kind of artivism, art and activism, and real focus on young women and um, my community and culture of, of LA, that because I have that base and feeling and, um, and journey and know that road, that everything else is supportive of that and will help along the way, more schooling, more contacts or connections or sharing in other places will help that. Um, and not be obstacles, but actually just open doors and opportunities for myself and for the groups that I went because I uh, work with various collectives. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.